Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and welcome to the card for Friday Night Stand Firm. With me is Gorilla Metal. Alright, we are in the final show before SummerSlam this Sunday at 8 o'clock UTC. And we're going to open it up with the red hot and angry Calcium. He's going to be on the mic in the ring. He's got a lot on his mind. But I got to believe it's just one guy on his mind. And that guy is McNaughton. Someone whose ass he finally got to kick backstage last week. And it looks like he might not be done with him. But does McNaughton care? He's got his title shot all locked in and ready for SummerSlam. So it should be real interesting to hear what Calcium has to say about that. Yeah, who knew? Who knows? Who knows how that's going to pan out? Should be very exciting. A war of words to open the show. <laughs> and next up, we've got the Plim Plum Loser Weight Division in the final match before Ghoul Face Killer has to defend in a triple threat. He's getting a warm up match against Ancy and Bleeding Hippie, two men who came just shy of qualifying for a title shot at SummerSlam. Will Ghoulface Killer be able to win this match and go in fresh with the win and all the momentum of the world? Or will this be yet another stumbling block just like he's had in previous tune-up matches before pay-per-views? Hasn't yet affected him as he's got his defenses under his belt already and looks like he's ready for one more. Absolutely, yeah. That should be a great match. And then here we go. It all comes down to this. One of these two tag teams will compete for the two heads championship um, at SummerSlam. The fucking rats will be there defending. Will it be the unnatural snackers, Johnny Five and Satterfield? Or will it be the always complaining, dressed for business, Lemon is Good and Fan Fox? This is a straight on two on two tag team match. And it should be a hell of a match. <laughs> hell of a match indeed. Yeah, the two, the top two contenders and one of them will be guaranteed at SummerSlam. And then look at this. The fucking rats getting their own tune-up match. Another straight on tag team match against Cock and Ball Torture. Cocky and Moradam, Chunty and Finner, Chunter and Finney fell to, to cock and ball torture in their debut a week ago. And now you gotta wonder, could cock and ball torture get a second win? How could you argue against not adding them on Sunday if that were the case? Only time will tell. This tag team has just shot up the list and some people are asking, why? What's going on? Could it be Jimmy Minmax Tastics? largest and loudest supporter is cocky could it be just pure talent or could it be that no one wants to cross a literal fucking goblin when their balls are on the line who knows but what we do know is that this match is going to be pure fire jim yeah absolutely uh watch your balls you fucking rats <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Finally, a as fair a match as our vaccine in months. One on one against the world heavyweight champion. The money in the ass contract will be on the line on Sunday. And you know, Ardvac has got to have a lot going through his mind right now. But he's going to be facing Tony Plays Poorly. The rest of Mighty F AF will be in his corner. And uh, will we see Art back with another one of those solid gold performances that he's had in against all odds in his last few matches? Will Tony play as poorly give up sometimes as we just saw recently? Or will we get a battle for the ages? Yeah, it, it finally, finally a fair match for Art back. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. And of course, he, he could maybe cash in uh, upper weight class, but it might be tricky with Frosty and Clavius around. Yeah. I have a feeling that's why Mighty AF decided to come out there with Tony. And look at this. The backstage brawls continue. Scaramezzo taking on the Friday fuckboy LeBred Mask. Yeah, I don't really know what LeBred Mask was thinking signing on for this one. That is not a domain you want to enter uh, unbuttered. But 
he's probably been a little bit of, a little bit sick of my own commentary about him being a mediocre C minus player in the JFW, and he knows that Skurametsu's my boy. I always back him when I when I get a chance to because which is rare, but he's a great he's a great star, and if he's got to be relegated to fighting backstage, so be it. The red mask, I think. You're toast. <laughs> oh, very good. And finally, four guys who have nothing to earn on Sunday. Adon Tekelis, Dan Dave, W.R. Spenny, and Flicky Flack in a fatal four-way extreme elimination match. These are always some of the most exciting, best matches in the JFW. These are four guys all you could make a case to have a shot at the world heavyweight title but they aren't getting one because McNaughton launched past all of them and rightfully won that match on one of the greatest, greatest performances we've seen in the JFW. But the winner of this one, the guy who's standing tall, could be the, could be the star of August and moving forward in the heavyweight division in the JFW. Will it be Dave Odontakelis, who's been there before, W.R. Spenny with his newly formed crew or flicky flack <laughs> oh brilliant flicky flack yeah it, that's that's an incredible match isn't it four of the top talents on stand firm no doubt that uh, will not be involved in SummerSlam and uh, absolutely great stuff I can't wait to see which one of these guys can separate themselves from the pack and it'll be interesting will it be Tony plays poorly again will it be McNaughton one of these guys is going to be going after them next month. You can count on that, Jim. Absolutely. And uh, that concludes your amazing uh, card for Stan Firm. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metzo. Absolutely. I cannot wait for SummerSlam. I'll see you there, Jim. Glorious. I can't wait either. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>